and is yeah. being banged on. Yep. Now, as grown men, we don't really deal with that shit too much. Yeah, I do, because I still look like a young nigga. Yeah, you do kind they of. They feel like I look like a young nigga, I guess. I don't know. They can't tell with me, bro. Interesting. You feel me? What's, like, what's the. In your, in your. I think growing up, we learn. You learn how to deal with it based on whatever yeah. hood you're from, Compton. Where, wherever you're from, you learn how to adapt to uh, getting banged on or doing yeah. the bang. And however, you're going to respond to it. Yeah. What would you say, the, the, if it's some young men looking at you right now, what's the proper response? To getting banged on Or is there ever a proper response Well if you see somebody Looking at you You just speak to them first Okay I feel that You feel me If they looking a little it's too nice long What's life. going on How you doing and, and for the people outside of LA Could you explain to them What getting banged on means Well some niggas know But getting banged on means Basically somebody approaching you Asking you if you from a gang or not mm -hmm. And if you are in They want to know If you are an enemy Or whatever the case may be You might mm -hmm. be an enemy You might be a Conrad But they approaching you To see what part of the city You from And what gang Or what, who you align yourself with mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying But uh That's a fact If some people Somebody looking too long You just speak What's going on How you doing mm -hmm. Alright all right, for sure mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying Now it just depends on Sometimes Some days It depends on how a nigga Feeling fool Because I might reply different yeah, certain days. It depends on the mood you in. It depends on the mood I'm in. It's and it depends like, on how he how he get at you. Exactly. Yeah. Cause you know, I feel like nobody's supposed to be banging on nobody, but that's I understand how that work. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's so if somebody bang on me and I'm in somebody hood, I don't take it offensive. But in the real world, it's some offensive shit. Cause I'm a grown ass man. You shouldn't be banging on me. But I understand this shit because this. Where I'm from, this is where I grew up at. Yeah, it's just a you part get of what I'm life. saying. Yeah. So if if a nigga bang on me, he bang on me, and it ain't no no crazy shit. It just he just asked me where, he, where you from. Oh yeah, I'm, man, I'm a grown up. Okay, all right, for sure. I'm whoopie whoop whoopie. Yeah. Say his name, shake his hand. We shake hands. We get on out of there. You know what I'm saying? Right. Now if you a nigga that where you from, where you stay at, and all of that shit. Where you from? I don't bang. Where you stay? All you know, that was some shit. old, that was some yeah, old where tactics. Your stay at and all, all that, that shit. type of yeah. shit. You know Come them on. tactics. It's like then you get to that point where like, hey. What you wanna do? Exactly. It's Cause I'm not finna be answering all these questions. It's either that, or I'm finna get too nervous to where I'm finna fire on you. Yeah. Cause you asking me now, exactly. I feel like it's an issue. Exactly. exactly. And I, ain't, I'm fuck it. We finna get cracking. If you beat me up, you beat me up. I'll smash you. You smash me. Exactly. It's gonna go how it's gonna go, but you ain't finna keep asking no grown ass nigga. What fuck you mean? Where I stay? Where you stay? Exactly. I'm a Rolling Stone. I stay wherever. Ah. And then based where on you his stay? response, it's gonna go. It's either gonna go left or right. See, either gonna go left or right, and you know they don't like when you. Some game makers don't like when you give them a, a sarcastic response. Uh, yes, indeed. You feel what I'm saying? Can you remember your first time being introduced to, to to this this LA? I mean, we born into it, but like your first time being banged on. No, I don't remember my first time being banged on, but I I I uh I remember as a kid though just seeing the whole. I'm beyond of it, not really understanding it, but seeing it because I sit in the projects on my grandmother's porch. R.I.P. My grandmother Nano, I sit on her porch mm -hmm. and then just see. But I ain't really understanding what was going on. Yeah, you know when you a kid, bro, you don't understand like, oh, this is this and oh, this is where you live, this way, this is where you from, or this this is you don't understand certain shit. Like you don't understand. The concept you don't even understand the part of the town you from at a certain age. Yeah, you don't understand you live on the comp. Yeah, you don't yeah, understand yeah. you live on the east That's side until That's where you at. You feel yeah. what I'm saying until you get older and people either say it or, you know, you depending on how your house is, then you mm -hmm. start doing what you're gonna do. But you don't really understand that. But I caught a grasp of it early, mm -hmm. but it wasn't really no real understanding. Yeah. Like I, I don't know when the first time I got. Yeah. You feel me? I remember the first time I seen, I was on my granddaddy block, and I remember some Mexicans came on the block, and you know how you got the, uh, your address, how you can go to the store and get the numbers? Mm -hmm. They had their hood and numbers hanging out the window, yeah. driving past like this, banging on us, and we, we was kids, like, yeah. I was just looking like... <laughs> The right. fuck, but we knew at that age we knew was street because they had they put I ain't gonna say what hood yeah, 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 yeah. they knew they we knew like oh because them niggas was like from four blocks down uh -huh. you feel what I'm saying so I guess they figured we was gonna be the little gang bangers on that block too you know what I'm saying so they were just getting ready yeah <laughs> this was on my yeah. granddaddy block yeah. you feel what I'm saying but you know yeah, yeah nah yeah. man yeah. And, and popular news man we talk about all this because we saw these type of activities go go wrong way. Go the wrong way for yeah. uh, brother Takashi Six Nine. 
Man, fuck snitch, uh, nah. Yeah, you know. Niggas yeah. don't support Takashi. He's a whole whole while here. Yeah, well, it, it, it looks like it's working out for him because he just got out of jail Niggas due to COVID-19. Uh, well, the other boy he snitched on too, Kuda B, is out Kuda too. Kuda B got out too. Yeah. Absolutely. And so he's going to finish the remainder of his sentence at home. Yeah. Um, let's see how long it's going to be. Weird ass nigga. Probably a couple more months. He'll be at the crib. Now, my, my thoughts are... Um, with this quarantine going on, yeah, with Takashi being a viral internet sensation, and with him just getting released from jail, I think next week he's going to be going live, and his numbers are going to be through the roof. Tory Lanez just went live with Drake, and they broke the record for like three hundred thousand people tuned in at one time. Yeah, when Takashi goes live, he's going to break the record, and then he's going to drop an album, and all those people going to be talking shit about it is going to stream. And he gonna be right back cracking. Well, you gotta understand the times we living in, fool. We living in the click age. Right. So you gonna get your streams, or you gonna get whatever, just based on us clicking it. And guess who gonna click it? Everybody gonna click it. The people that don't like you gonna click it because they wanna see what you talk, what bullshit yep. you about to say, and the people Absolutely. that like you is gonna click. It. Absolutely. So of course, he, he this nigga King Rat. We finna change his name to Chuck E. Cheese. Yep. You but does him? that mean his career is gonna stop though? No, bro. Because the people, it's people that support him from the beginning. These niggas like him. That's a fact. What? No real nigga. Who was really sliding around playing six nine anyway, bro? Not no. Nobody. Not in the hood. You right. So his fans. They may have liked a few of them songs and they was yeah. playing it on the low. So you feel like this ain't even gonna really affect him like that? He might not Man. be able to go do shows and stuff. But with this quarantine, I feel like he'll be able to sit in his house, do concerts, even after this is over with. He can just take up shop in his house and and keep it going. But I do think any rapper that do a song with this nigga need to get on. Niggas need to shut them rappers down. He sh Takashi shouldn't have no features, bro. He shouldn't, but it's gonna happen. You you just watch when he go live and his numbers are crazy. All these rappers that be dick riding gonna be trying to get them numbers too. Man, right niggas is doing song with six nine. He's a weirdo. It's coming, guarantee. Niggas gonna expose theyself and see what your real get down is. Yeah. Let's see who you really are. We gonna see. But now, if you're not a gangster rapper and you never claim to be gangster, then I'm not gonna hold that to you. But I don't understand how you can support somebody. You don't even have to be gangster. How could you support somebody that gets some shit cracking, get it going, yep. start the beef, and then have and then talk shit. I'm gonna put 20k on on this nigga head, mm -hmm. and then have somebody try to shoot at somebody, and then tell on the person you tried to pay to shoot him. Mm -hmm. That ain't cool. That ain't cracking. I don't care if that nigga fuck your baby mama, fool. This is what you signed up to for. You supposed to be a blood. You supposed to be super blood. This will come with being super blood. True. Listen, but these niggas programming wrong. They let this nigga do all of this. So it's not only his fault, it's the people that's from his hood's fault. Yeah. That put him on and let him, you know, do that. Any that real blood that uh, any real blood that associated with that shit, that like felt that. like that shit was cool. Mm -hmm. And I don't give a fuck how no nigga feel, fool. Y'all can do whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm not no blood. I'm not no I don't give a fuck. Yeah. But niggas, whoever was cool with that weird ass six nine shit from the beginning, nigga was a weirdo from the jump. That's a fact. Period, nigga. You niggas egg that shit on. Y'all put the y'all fuck the game up. Yeah, and y'all was letting him stand next to you because you wanted the clout. Because you want clout. That's a fact. This clout and game banging is that ain't nigga real game bangers on ain't no fuck. They don't want no fucking clout, exactly. nigga, because they do too much dirt. It, it's like clout. You can't and, have clout and be a gang member. You can't put you that gonna on get Instagram. Caught. Exactly. That's why the whole chop thing is weird. You can't put all this on Instagram. You can't do this type of stuff. Well, yeah, but you know, young chop don't he ain't. You don't really think uh, he? According to what? People saying around him, he don't. He got a mental illness. Like I said, somebody not gonna care about that mental illness. That he gonna talk to the wrong person or be out somewhere in the wrong situation. And if you walk around with a gun, yeah, you might be amped to gun. use it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you feel threatened, you gonna be amped to use it. And if you walk around and you pull your gun out and somebody else has a pistol, somebody gonna have to use that gun. It's true. And it's going to be a problem. That's why some people, it's safe to say you don't carry your gun or you, you don't have a gun or you leave your pistol at home. One of the two. 
You feel what I'm saying? Because you're going to be forced to use it. Now, Chop, they're going to put Chop in a situation to where he's going to have to use it because he didn't say too much shit on the internet. Absolutely. And that's not what you want. Like, that's my thing. Like, we got to figure out how to deal with conflict. Like, it can't always be the shoot them up, bang, bang type of shit. That, that's, that's not going to work. Uh, on a brighter note, um, <laughs> what did he say? Terrence said he said he anybody killer. We got uh, Jay Z. You know, Jay Z and Mika doing a lot to reform the jails. Right? You saying Jay Z and Meek? Yeah, you know, they yeah. do a lot of prison reform and all that. Just recently, because I, I was wondering about this. We keep hearing about this coronavirus stuff, right? Yeah. I was like, man, how is it going to affect the brothers that's in, the, in that's locked up? Because they can't drink tea, and you know what I'm saying? They they don't have no ginger and no honey and no lime to fight the virus. They can't drink a gallon of water a day. They can't wash their hands. Well, I think it. That I think. That's it's, it's easier for you to ki- not to catch it in jail. You think so? If somebody gets in there and it gets it infected, wouldn't it spread faster in jail? Think about it. Nigga, can't nobody come through this door unless we test them for corona. You can't touch nobody yet. We know who's coming in the jail. What I'm saying, it's already in the jails. They got- no, hear what I'm saying. It's in the jail. How did it get in the jail? Because somebody outside came in. The COs and things like that, the cooks and all of that stuff. People that are not the inmates you right. know, work in the jail right. are responsible for spreading it around. But once one of the inmates get it, let's say the cook got it, and then you get it. You know what I'm saying? And it gets spread around. Once the inmates get it, how do you protect them from the virus? You can't quarantine them. Well, I guess you could quarantine them, but how do you how do you disinfect everything? How do you... They, they, they don't have masks. They don't have gloves and stuff like that. Well, it's only so they confined to a certain space. But what I'm saying is a precaution is they gonna, you can control who's coming in and out of jail. Right. Right. So every E from the staff to the inmates, everybody get tested. Mm-hmm. You come in this month every day, we're going to have to check you out and test you before you come in contact with anybody else that's not in proper gear to deal with you. Okay, come on for the staff, right? For the staff. What about what about if the inmates get it? The inmates only gonna get it. I'm from talking. The, they already got it. No, hear what I'm saying. The inmates can only. You gotta understand. They not. They not. They haven't been touching the world. So the only way they can get it is if the jail didn't test the new people coming in. I see what you're saying. You feel me? I see what you're saying. If you test the new people coming in when it started, then you green. Cause the people in jail, they haven't touched nobody but themselves. True. You know what I'm saying? Or and or guards. Everybody, it's the same people here every day, all day. You feel me? That's what I'm saying. Well, uh, reform the prison reform thing that Jay Z and Meek have. The Alliance announced Friday that they're donating forty thousand masks going to the Tennessee Department of Corrections. Uh, Five thousand are going to Parchment, and fifty thousand going to Rikers Island. And another twenty five hundred to medical facilities. So we see a lot of people putting in work, trying yeah. to send stuff around for people. So that this is the first story I've seen about somebody asking a question about the inmates. Yeah, how niggas know these masks work anyway? Because I'm starting to think every time I see a nigga with a mask, no, I ain't gonna lie, fool. I'm starting to think, hold on, bro, watch this nigga. He looking tricky. This nigga up to something. He might have a runner because he got a mask. You know, he might have a blower trying to rob me. These niggas got all. all these niggas. I've been seeing niggas ain't. Why y'all in cars with y'all masks on, bro? What you on? Shit's a little weird. You was pulling up on me. You got a black mask. You got this custom mask on. I don't know, my nigga. Hey. Niggas gonna have to. That's what? a fact. You got to pull your mask off when you come pull on, up. bro. It's looking tricky. I'm watching every nigga with a mask on now. <laughs> yeah, Who are you finna he's, book? He's Man, let me ask Not you this, me. Man. We were just talking about prison reform. Yeah, we was talking a little bit off camera about yeah. some of your experiences.